let's start with the abstract concept of a logic gate. A logic gate is a small component that has some inputs and some outputs, which are electrical signals in the form of voltages. In this case, there are only two kinds, a low voltage, like zero volts, which represent a value of zero, or high voltage, let's say five volts, which represent a value of one. Since there are only two possible values, zero or one, we call this a binary representation. Each digit, which can take on a value of zero or one, is called a binary digit, or bit for short. Notice that this is different from our usual decimal number system, which takes on 10 different values for each digit, from zero to nine. Let's start by looking at an example of an AND logic gate. It has two inputs, one bit on each input, and it has one output, another bit. The behavior of the AND logic gate is fully described using a truth table. We can map every possible set of inputs to its corresponding output. Since there are only two inputs, and each input can take two different values, that means there is a grand total of four possible input combinations to the gate. Notice the AND gate mostly results in a zero bit output for any combination of inputs, except when both inputs are one. In this case, the output becomes one. There are other common logic gates, each defined with a unique truth table. The OR gate has an output of zero only when both inputs are zero. If at least one input is one, the output becomes one. The NOT gate has only one input and one output. It simply inverts the input value. If it is zero, the output is one. If the input is one, the output is zero. Another useful logic gate is the exclusive OR gate, or XOR. In this case, the output is zero when both inputs are one or both inputs are zero. The output is one only when the inputs are different values, one with a value of one, the other with zero.